Hi guys, welcome to Different Spokes TV. It's still the midst of Canadian winter here and so it's too cold to ride. But it's not too cold to review a helmet, so that's what I'm going to do today. And I will be reviewing the LS2 Pioneer helmet. Uh, this is an adventure helmet, it's a budget helmet under $200. And I bought this helmet myself with my own money. I'm not sponsored, I did not get it for free. I don't have to be nice when I review it, I will be completely truthful with you guys. So don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and without further ado, let's get on with this review. Okay, so let's go over some of the features of this helmet. First of all, it's an intermediate oval, which means it's not round. Uh, again, fit is subjective. You should try on many different helmets to see which one fits your head. But you can see this is not a round shape. This is an oval shaped helmet. Uh, it has a little bit more room up here in front for your face, which is something that I really like because I like to run calm units, uh, comms on my helmets. I've got a cardo right here and uh, the extra room in front of my mouth leaves lots of room for a microphone to put in there. Also, if you're running a GoPro camera, you can see I've got a GoPro mount here and you wanna be talking into your GoPro while you're riding. There's also room for a GoPro microphone in there in front of your face and it's not smooshing up against your face like with some road helmets. Uh, the road helmets tend to be much closer to your face and sometimes your lips are actually brushing against the microphone. Uh, that's uncomfortable and it's distracting. I don't like it. Now, as you can see, the shield of this helmet is quite large. It's uh, very wide. It's an adventure helmet after all, so it's meant for off-road use. This one is probably tailored for more off-road use than your average helmet. And it gives you a wide field of vision because uh, LS2 expects riders off-road to be standing up, to be looking around, looking for routes. Uh, looking for ruts, rocks, and other things that can get in the way. Uh, so the nice field of vision is really good. Uh, you feel very open inside it. It's not claustrophobic feeling. Uh, one thing about this helmet is it's really well ventilated. There is a vent up right here in front of the mouth, which you can open with a uh, little switch here. Uh, and there are two cool looking vents here on the sides and four vents around the head here. So uh, this is a helmet that on a hot summer day you're going to be really well ventilated. Uh, I do find the shield when you open it, it opens pretty well but it doesn't have uh, different positions into which it clicks as it opens. It just opens smoothly so uh, if you leave, if you want it a little open for ventilation it, uh, the wind blast might close it on you. Uh, and so that's one thing uh, this helmet is missing, but it is a budget helmet after all. Another thing this helmet has is a drop-down sun visor. And that sun visor uh, looks really good. It fits my face perfectly. Uh, it's a very smooth operation. It's not one of those ones where you click it and it just pops down all in one shot. You can uh, adjust it as you like. Uh, depending on the shape of your face, it might have to be higher or you can bring it all the way down low. So let's take a look at the strap system on this helmet. This is a ratchet strap system. Uh, I like this better than the double D ring that most helmets have. It's very simple. Uh, you strap it in, you can do it with one hand. Uh, when you release it, you pull this little uh, red tab here and the thing just pops out. Uh, really easy, really handy, and uh, very convenient. Can be operated with one hand if you get good at it. Now let's talk about one more thing here, the peak on this helmet. Uh, it is quite flexible. You can see I'm flexing it with my hands. Uh, it's flexible, so if you hit something or if you drop the helmet or uh, something happens, you're less likely to break the peak, which is nice. Uh, it's also adjustable for height. You just simply uh, unscrew these two little uh, screws here. <sighs> screws, you unscrew the screws. You unscrew the little tabs here, you screw them down and you can adjust it up and down as you like. 
So I'm going to demo the helmet for you now. Uh, I'm gonna put it on. I've worn it a few times, so it's worn in. I already have my comm system in there. Uh, this uh, goes on pretty easily, pretty clean. I'm just gonna throw it on like this. And as I said, this helmet fits me really well. Uh, you can see it's uh, kind of pinching my cheeks here, the, the pads on the sides pinch my cheeks pretty well, which holds the helmet on very well. And if I'm moving it around, it's not, there's no extra movement in there. That's how your helmet should fit. Uh, I find the fit and the pressure on my head is very equal from all sides. It's very comfortable. Okay, so let's go over some things I really like about this helmet. The first thing I really like about it is the look. It looks super cool. It looks very kind of stormtrooper-ish from Star Wars. Uh, it's got these cool vents in there. It's got this uh, little face shield here. Looks like a speaker. It really uh, looks amazing. I, I think it looks very futuristic. I like the fact that it's narrow going this way. It's, uh, uh, it's not too wide. Your head doesn't look huge when you're on the bike. I like the color scheme. I personally like the white one. Uh, white is really visible, but it comes in uh, many different color schemes. I like the fact that it's got lots of room in front of your face. I, maybe I have a long face, I don't know. Uh, but uh, a lot of helmets, my nose and my, my mouth are actually brushing up against the front of them. And I do, it does feel claustrophobic, I don't like that. Uh, love the straps, the straps are good. The uh, inner lining is really nice feeling, it's firm, uh, but it also feels like in hot weather it's going to wick uh, moisture away. I've only ridden a few times. As I said, it's winter uh, with this helmet on, so I don't know exactly how it's going to be in hot weather, but uh, the fact that it's so well ventilated and that the uh, interior materials uh, seem to be very uh, moisture wicking, it's, it's a promising thing. Another thing I like about the helmet is that it is quite light. I think it's listed at three pounds, five ounces, uh, and that's a very light weight for a fairly budget helmet. I like the fit of the helmet, as I said before, but again, that's very subjective, so you should uh, try your own helmet on. You might like the fit of a very differently shaped helmet because you might have a differently shaped head. I like the fact that the sides of the helmet aren't too wide, so I can do uh, put a cardo clamp right on the side there. Uh, you can also stick the cardo on the side of the helmet here. Uh, but when you do that, eventually the glue starts to weaken and I've uh, been on the highway before when this thing came undone and started flapping behind me at uh, highway speeds. And the last thing I really like are the flat surfaces on the, on the uh, front of the helmet here. It's got a flat surface on this side and a flat surface on this side. And as you can see, this flat surface is perfect for mounting a GoPro camera. Okay, now I've only worn the helmet a few times, but there are some things I dislike about it. So I'm gonna share those things with you now too. Again, remember this is a budget uh, unit, so this is not a thousand dollar helmet. So you can't expect it to have thousand dollar helmet features. Uh, so one thing I dislike about it is the fact that these vents, especially the ones on the head and on the sides here, cannot be closed. This one can be closed. All the other six cannot be closed. So if it's really cold, you're getting cold air blowing at your head. If it's raining, the rain's going to come through, your, your head's going to get wet in this helmet. Uh, also, the noise. Road noise on this helmet is fairly extreme. If you're going to be traveling at high speed for any length of time, I recommend using uh, earplugs with this helmet because uh, this thing is noisy. Uh, there are uh, seven vents in and four vents out in the back and all of that air is coming right by your ears and blasting your ears. Now I did wear earplugs with this on my last longer ride on the highway and it was fine. So if you've got good earplugs uh, that is not an issue but do remember that uh, any kind of a ride over a long distance without earplugs with this helmet is going to be painful. You might damage your hearing so stay safe, wear those earplugs with this one. The other thing I don't like about this helmet is that it doesn't have recesses for speakers for your comms unit. I actually tried to stick in my speakers in this one and then I tried to put it on, no go. It's not, there's not enough room there. So if you are going to use a comms unit like this, 
with your helmet, you are going to have to plug in your earbuds into your ears and then plug them into the comms unit in order to be able to communicate with someone. Uh, so that's just one of those things that uh, is a slight inconvenience because it's an extra step of putting the earplugs in and putting the helmet on and all that kind of stuff. And finally, the, the last thing I dislike about this helmet is more of a problem with adventure helmets in general, but uh, this one is definitely susceptible to that problem. The peak on the helmet does catch the wind. So if you are riding fast and you check your shoulder, it does whip your head to the side. It's, it's wanting your head to turn. Okay, so overall, I would recommend this helmet, uh, obviously, because I bought it. Uh, I do like it. Now, having worn it uh, a few times and uh, having gotten used to its uh, slight limitations, uh, I think it's a very good value. And considering it's under $200 uh, Canadian and in the US it will be less than that, uh, I think it is an excellent value with lots of uh, good features and a nice light weight and a good look to it. It looks like a much more expensive helmet in my opinion. The LS2 Pioneer is different spokes approved. Thanks a lot for watching. Uh, we will be out on the road soon. I know you guys like the bike reviews I do so uh, we are going to be doing lots this spring. So guys don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, help out the channel that way. Uh, keep safe out there, keep the rubber side down, shiny side up and may the spokes be with you.